Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel ML for Analytics. Today we will be covering composite models in Power BI, which is uh, another important topic uh, when it comes to data modeling and Power BI. So let's get started. So this feature was introduced uh, some time back uh, in Power BI. So before this feature uh, was included in Power BI, uh, we had many limitations when it uh, comes to data modeling. So one of them was that uh, if uh, if we had used any data, uh, any uh, direct query connection in order to uh, fetch data uh, in Power BI. So no another connection was allowed, be it direct query, be it import, no other connection was allowed in the Power BI report. So now with composite models, this restriction is now removed. As in if you are, if, uh, you are now uh, importing uh, data uh, by using import mode and other data connection that you are using is direct query then uh, you can use both of them. You can uh, include both of them in just one report. And that is a, a very powerful feature. So uh, it's like uh, in import mode, as we know that data is stored directly in the VertiPack engine, in the VertiPack cache. And if uh, generally what happens is that your di dimension tables, they are very small. And when it comes to pack tables, then they have like sometimes billions of rows of data, and sometimes they are like using uh, transaction, uh, ongoing transactions are happening uh, every other time. So what happens in that case? We can't use import mode in that case because it's like it's it's around billions of rows. And obviously, you won't be able to use. It's not a good practice to use import storage mode in that case. Then in, in those, these kind of situation, you will be, of course, opting for direct query. So uh, now uh, if I want to like include pack table using direct query mode, then I can also uh, import uh, directly my uh, dimension tables in uh, the Power BI report. So both of them can get included. And that will uh, result in composite models. So, uh, uh, this is what I, as in with composite model, what we can do, we can do that uh, uh, combining data from one or more direct query sources, combining data from direct query and import data. So, like, what you can do is you can actually uh, fetch two tables, both of them connected to direct query. You can fetch two tables, one connected to direct query, another connecting to connected to import storage mode. So uh, now uh, this is actually the wider picture. In my previous video, I had explained uh, regarding data island. Uh, so this is an example of a composite model. If you are using import storage mode, then obviously you have like uh, uh, that data, those tables stored in VertiPack data island. And when it comes to like if you are using tables which are in direct query, uh, which are using direct query connection mode, then on both of them they are included in direct query data island. So this is an example of composite model. So both of these storage modes, they are used in just one report. You have three tables in VertiPack, two tables in direct query. Uh, so now uh, I'll talk about like uh, Let's go to Power BI now. I'll tell you uh, how to connect with both of them. I'll in let you know a few things regarding this. I'll close it for now. So this is your uh, Power BI desktop. You have a report view over here, data view over here, and model view over here. Let's fetch data now. So. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm using Contoso uh, database. So this is uh, by Microsoft. I'll connect to SQL Server database. And I'll use local host over here. And I'm selecting directory because firstly, I'm showing you how to connect 
to pack table using direct query storage mode. So I'll go to like uh, pack sales over here. I'll connect to it. I'll load it. So now you can see now that I have connected to this. You can see that data view uh, is currently disabled. I'm using just one connection that is direct query. So in this case uh, of just one connection, the data view is not appearing currently. I just have one model view, which is having this one table, which is back sales and other is actually the report view. Now what I'll do is I'll fetch few dimension table and I'll fetch them in import mode. It's interesting. Okay. Local host, Power BI is actually very, very powerful. So now I'll connect uh, this via import mode. And then I'll go to like uh, dimension product, dimension product category, dimension product subcategory. Let's, let's uh, fetch all, of, all these three tables. So it is going to show um, this warning. That is, when you add a second data source information from one data source might be included in queries that are sent to other data sources. Only add another source if you trust the owners and admins with the data. So uh, th these are actually few of the security implications when it comes to composite models. We will cover this uh, in this video for sure. So now I'm clicking OK, and then it's actually importing all these, uh, all the rows of these three tables, the different relationships. And now you can see that now I have those three tables in import mode, and now my data view is again over here. And if I go to data view, then uh, this table uses direct query and cannot be shown because. So from this, I can see that uh, in data view, the tables which are connected via direct query, they won't be shown in data view. But if I talk about other tables which were in import storage mode, they can be shown over here. So this is another thing which is to be noted. And uh, one thing to be, uh, I mean, addressed over here is that uh, if you go, if you see over here, uh, in the bottom right corner of your screen, you will be able to see the storage mode, and it is showing mixed for me. Why mixed? Because I am using both of both of the modes in in uh, this report. I am using import storage mode, and I am using direct query storage mode too. So it is going to uh, going to be mixed. If I click on this, if I click on this, then I am shown this dialog box, which is saying switch all tables to import mode. Setting the storage mode to import has the following implication. Please consider them carefully before proceeding and all these. So it is actually showing me switch all tables to import. So in case you want to switch uh, the fact the impact table also to import mode you will be able to do so and if you have an, uh, other tables also like you are having three and four tables which are currently in direct query mode then you can switch all of them to import if you want uh, by uh, clicking on this button so now i'm going to click on cancel and i'm going to go to model view and i'm going to see i'm i mean okay So now you can see that uh, since this is uh, using direct query storage mode and this dimension product is all these three tables, in fact, they are using import storage mode. So no relationship was detected automatically by Power BI in this case. And uh, these two, they, they have been, uh, uh, I mean, detected automatically by Power BI. Why? Uh, so because since these uh, these two tables are based on different storage modes, so RBI has actually uh, not done so on its own. 
so um, we have to actually manually uh, or I'd say uh, do so on our own. So I'll go to like taxes and I'll choose product key and choose gym product. So now actually this has detected the cardinality many to one for me with cross filter direction as symbol. I'll click OK and I'll click on close. So one uh, another so this is an important point as in uh, if you are actually using same data source but you are using different storage modes in Power BI then don't think that your uh, your uh, relationship will be detected automatically by Power BI. It has to be done manually by you. So, uh, okay. So, uh, having uh, learned all these things, uh, now let's go back to our presentation. So, uh, okay. So, it's like calculated table. So, uh, we have DAX in Power BI. Uh, so, by using DAX, we can define a calculated table based on either uh, direct query or import storage uh, based data tables or a combination of both of them. So, you can summarize tables and you can like fetch uh, some columns from dimension tables which are, which are based on import storage more than, than you can actually um, specify the sales amount, you can fetch the sales amount measure uh, from pack table and then you can uh, make a calculated table based on all the, all of those things. So um, remember that uh, whatever the source, whatever the uh, data connection of the source, calculated tables will always be an import, they will always be imported in Power BI report. So uh, if your if your uh, data is actually source table is direct query, so this calculated table, the values in calculated table, they will be calculated on the fly, and they will be showing the latest latest information, the updated data every time. Uh, but when it comes to like import mode, if your source data uh, was uh, in import mode, then your calculated table will display data from the, based on the last refresh time. So the last time it was refreshed, it will be containing those values. So if it was like yesterday or last week, so it is going to display those values. Don't think that it's going to display today's value, values. And it comes to like security implication. Uh, so as you would have seen in this video, uh, we had uh, encountered a warning by Power BI that uh, when we were actually fetching the dimension tables in import mode. So in this case, what happens, what generally happens, is that uh, uh, so if you are if you are actually uh, making visuals based on both based on two sources, one having direct query storage mode, another having like uh, another mode import mode. And you are again also having an Excel sheet, which is actually displaying the names of few of the employees and uh, sales people. And in this case, what happens is that, uh, so the names which were supposed to be hidden, suppose the, uh, the names which are displayed in that Excel sheet, they were, uh, they were actually uh, really confidential. They were not to be displayed to anyone. So if you were to give access to someone, uh, then only that person would be able to see those names and not directly. But now what happens in this case is that if you are used, if you are making a visual which is based on uh, names from that Excel sheet and figures from, uh, from your direct query table or your imported table, then what happens in this case is that those names, those confidential names, they, they, will, they might get included in the queries. In, uh, which were sent to other sources. Um, so, boom, uh, I mean, it's, it's actually uh, something which is a security flaw. And then 
another thing if if some values are there which are coming from an encrypted source and generally they were encrypted and now they are they are being shown to you uh, as as some particular good, uh, as a name or something like an and in an unencrypted form so even those values they can be included in a query which is sent to an unencrypted data source so another security hazard so the, these things are uh, have to be noted uh, when whenever you are working on composite models. Then let's talk about performance implication. So uh, again, uh, I mean, if you have a visual which is referencing both direct query and import table, and um, if you are having uh, your import tables or dimension tables having, uh, I mean, good good amount of uh, you can say product names or something like that a uh, good amount of literal values so uh, you will be having performance implication as in if you are having uh, the cardinality of those uh, those two uh, those dimension tables that is very high so if for example you are referencing product ids then Obviously, uh, those uh, and if you are having like hundreds of products, then obviously it's going to have many literal values, and in that case, performance implications will be there. So, every query which is sent to one data source, it will then be passed on to other data source. One point is this. So, if I talk about product being in import mode, packed being in direct query, and query sent to fetch the data will contain many literal values in this case, that is product name or product ID. And as cardinality or level of granularity increases, the literal values will be more and it will result in a slower report. And uh, I mean, in your queries, all those literal values, they will also be included. So you can you can imagine how slow your your uh, visuals they turn out to be. Then let's talk about the limitations. So currently, incremental refresh uh, it is supported in SQL, Oracle, and Teradata only. Um, and the other thing is that uh, these sources, these five sources, SAP HANA, SAP Business Warehouse, SQL Server Analysis Services. RBI data sets and Azure analysis services, they are, they can't be used with composite models currently. So uh, these are the limitations. I mean, these things are still under development and um, I mean, Power BI is evolving and I know that uh, these are performance implications, security implications and the limitations that we have talked about right now, I mean, they will soon be addressed for sure uh, by Microsoft. So guys, with this, I conclude this tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope uh, it enriched your knowledge base. Uh, so in, uh, in case it did, uh, please uh, like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel. Also, do let us know how you, what you think about this video and the videos that we are making currently, so that uh, in case you are finding any difficulty in any of the topics, uh, we will be uh, able to address all those things in our future videos. Also, do let us know what you want to learn, what are what are the hot topics for you, and we will be covering for, uh, covering them for sure. So, thank you and have a good. Good day, night. Thank you.